Another extremely useful tool is the presentation function in ArcGIS Online. Using the presentation function, you and your students can create and deliver engaging stories and presentations. Here, I've created some slides for the lesson we were just discussing for Colorado Eco Regions. This tool requires ArcGIS Explorer Online, which is accessible via the website explorer.arcgis.com. Free and similar to ArcGIS Online Map Viewer, which is just arcgis.com, it has some different tools and interfaces. One of the useful things, if I go ahead and open this Colorado data set in Explorer Online, I get this. Now it looks pretty similar to what I was looking at earlier inside ArcGIS Online Map Viewer. However, it's got a presentation tab here at the top. If I click on the presentation tab, you will see that I've got a set of nine slides that basically tells my story. So if I click on these slides, I see my story, which is going across Colorado and exploring the different water, vegetation, landforms, and land uses across 40 degrees north. What I like about using this for presentations is that instead of static slides, the slides are dynamic, using web-based mapping services, inviting comments and questions, and making the presentation more of a dialogue with the instructor and with peers. Hey, what if you added, what if you changed the scale, what if you changed the base map, etc. Think about also using this tool to assess student work. For your report on tsunamis, for example, I want one slide to be of the, of the Pacific Ocean, one slide for the coast you are examining, one slide showing the earthquakes and tsunamis in that area with a satellite image base, meeting X and Y criteria, and so on. Great tool for assessing your student work. Let's take a look at what this slideshow or this presentation tool would give us if we go ahead and start presentation. My presentation is looking at ecoregions in Colorado. And see at any point I can go ahead and add, delete, uh, change, change base maps, I can zoom in and so on and look at these areas. Ah, gosh, look at that. I can skip to different slides if I want to, all from my slideshow. So this is really quite powerful, I think. And I would just invite you to consider using this for student presentations and also to assess student work.